Hello and welcome to our Bayside Commercial Market Report for September. The end of winter saw a flurry of settlement activity with our sales and leasing team delivering some record results. Despite the press winding up the negative rhetoric, there is still plenty of market activity and no discernible shift in either price or yield expectation. With a significant number of transactions already logged for September, it doesn't look like the Bayside will see the same negativity as many other parts of the country. Recent comments from our Reserve Bank Governor suggest that interest rates may well hold their current position for longer than many pundits were predicting. This is despite our Federal Government announcing the lowest economic growth rates since 1991 and a broad acknowledgement that many households are facing some uncomfortable questions on how to manage the bills, as the cost of many essential items, like energy, continue to keep inflation at a stubbornly high rate. What does this mean for our local market? It's a complex question and one I really wish I knew the answer to. Our research team has assembled some statistics that suggest any downward trends in the commercial property sector may well have hit their low point. Clever investors have become a little more bullish in their pursuit of quality assets as they weigh up the lack of supply, high replacement cost and the time it takes to bring new product to market. Factors that combine to suggest existing product has real latent value. Identifying those assets and getting the timing right is the real challenge though. Spring has definitely sprung and with that comes new stock to market in the stereotypical rush to the end of calendar year. We've some exciting new assets on market and these can be viewed below in our newsletter. If you have an interest in any of these great properties, please let one of our sales team know and they'd be delighted to assist. Our property management team has highlighted this month the importance of reviewing your insurance. It appears that many people, and other property managers for that matter, simply tick and flick their renewal each year. With massive construction cost increases and rental growth over the last few years, many owners are now heavily exposed to underinsurance. Delays in the construction process also mean that consideration needs to be given to the length of time that the rental income is guaranteed in the event of a major loss. Whilst no one likes to pay for too much cover, the consequences of not having enough protection within the policy limits can be catastrophic. If you're unsure, our award-winning property management team is only too happy to help. That's it for me. Enjoy this beautiful spring weather and I'll see you in October. Cheers.